Stitch number 24, 25, and 26 are all versions of a applique blanket stitch. You'll kind of find which one you like the best. My preference is 26, and but they're all manipulatable, so they can be made bigger or smaller based on the size of fabric you're going around. Now I've switched to an optional clear foot, so you can see what I'm doing, and also I can see what I'm doing. So if you don't have this foot, put your B foot on, but if you have a clear foot, there is a nice red line that you can use to can kind of do some guiding where the f stitch is going to be made. I'm going to go ahead and start with stitch number 24 though and show you some of the differences and how this stitch actually works. So as you line it up, what you want to do is line up the straight part of the stitch to actually be right next to the edge of the fabric you're following. Set your needle so it stops down in the fabric. You'll notice that this stitch, the first one, does two stitches forward and then a little bite to the inside. So that's one stitch. If I go ahead and do stitch number 25, you're going to notice, and I might, huh, might have to set up this a little differently, you'll notice that the stitch kind of lines up a little bit more on the outside of the foot and also goes back and forth multiple times. This one is a heavier version of the blanket stitch, so it looks like it's been done with a thicker thread. So that's kind of fun to see. Let me show you what we have so far. So the stitch in and then two stitches between, and then this is the heavier one. Of course, I can make that longer if I use my stitch length. I can spread that out and then get the right look for the stitch that I'm going for. Let me just go ahead and get all the way to the end here, and then I'll switch to the last one. All right, so stitch number 26, when it starts, oh, isn't that pretty? That really puts a nice finish along that edge. And my, this last one is a stitch that's gonna do one stitch forward and one stitch in. So instead of having the two stitches between the bite, now it only has one stitch. So it's a little bit more balanced. Also, this setting is very, very small when as a default setting. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So you see that it's very petite. So I like to increase the width and length at the same amount. So it starts at two millimeters wide and two millimeters long. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to three just to show you the di dis difference here. And we'll see, we'll get a little bigger bite. So we'll kind of line up based on that. And then now you can really see the difference in this stitch. And boy, being able to see through this foot is really a, a plus when you're trying to do applique. So see how we started with fairly short stitches over here, and then we finished up with a little bit more uh, balanced stitch based on the shape that I was going around. Now, if I was doing something very teeny, then yes, this would be the right setting, but you can enlarge it and reduce it as you sew or move from area to area. So have fun with the blanket stitches. Try them all out. Remember, you're sewing out all your decorative stitches, so you'll have three stitches showing you each of the variations you have built into this machine.